Tristan, congratulations on advancing to the legend stage. It was looking like it was going to be kind of a breeze at the beginning, but then towards the end of Dust 2, you guys struggled a little bit to close it out. Uh, tell me about what happened there. Yeah, um, we had a good start, I, I think. Um, no, not a good start, a bad start. Uh, but we came back, we, uh, we fixed our mistakes during the game, um, then we just focused on ourselves. So, yeah, as City, like we thought, like we would just close it out like in uh, seven rounds, but in the end, like they punished us, they punished our mistakes, they got a lot of first tracks, uh, like at mid, or they hit the people a lot through the door, so they always had the low HP on beer. Um, so, I also didn't do that much moves on City, so I, after like in the end of the second half, I start doing more moves again and try to punish them, even though in, uh, in overtime. So yeah, we are just focusing on ourselves, on CT again, and then we try to win. How do you reflect on the whole run through the first stage? Are you guys uh, com comfortable with uh, what you've shown, happy? Yeah, for sure. Like um, I think, in my opinion, maybe you should go for like 3-0, three, 3-0. Three three oh. um, you should have won the game against Bad News Eagles, and maybe then, for sure, like, uh, the third game like, would be harder, but um, yeah, I think we, we showed a good face, we showed good results, we also didn't, yeah, we showed also a good face against Bad News Eagles, maybe not on the tier half, but like on City we had a really good game. Um, so I think everyone should be happy and we are also really happy, yeah. What about your own individual form? I think you've been one of the highest rated players of the first the stage and you continued in this series again. Um, what's been behind that? Um, yeah, nothing, like I just play my game, I just... Like I give a fuck what people are saying about me like being an online and stuff, so I just focus on myself and I know what I'm capable of, so I just try to show it every day or day by day. And maybe sometimes I have a bad tournament, sometimes I have a good tournament, but I uh, want to be like more consistent and show a good face of myself and yeah. Tell me about confidence levels for the next stage. Obviously, you know, a lot of the big teams are coming in, like FaZe Navi, you know, still waiting for the end of the, the, the challenger stage as well. Um, how confident are you guys that you can show, continue to show a good face there? Um, yeah, I think we should be really confident. Like, uh, we have nothing to lose. Like, I think we are the underdogs still. And, like, facing good teams like uh, FaZe or Navi, we are still underdogs. And we have nothing to lose. We can just play our own game. We uh, just try to punish the, their mistakes. And yeah, maybe they have also like a disadvantage because they come now. We we already played like four games in front of the crowd, and maybe they they are like a bit sloppy in the beginning. So yeah, we will see what we are doing. Do you think that experience could actually make a difference? You know, especially considering the crowd that is here. Obviously, that's fairly unique to this kind of a stage at the major. Do you think that's going to help you in the moving on? Yeah, in my opinion, I think so. Yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, on day one or day two, like we have an advantage, but after day two, like they, I think they. They should be like prepared and uh, stuff. So I think like we have an advantage on day one and two, but after that, then like then everything is like set and zero. I wanted to ask you about Sin to close it out. You, you have been playing with him for a month. So what's your impression of him and how he's been fitting in? You know, in this kind of like a weird situation that you guys have been put in. Yeah, I think uh, he's a really good player. Like my impression of him are really high. Like he's uh, doing really good. Like he's really good commu communicating wise. He has a good s skill level. Like because like he played like in academy like two two months ago or three months ago, so he has also like a uh, really high skill level. His communi communication is good and he's also hitting his shots. So I think he deserves to be here um, for sure. Like it's a bit sad for Faven that he cannot be here because of his uh, sickness or illness. So, but I think like Sin, he deserved it and he showed every day like what he's capable of and that he uh, yeah he's a really good player. Yeah. Thank you very much and good luck moving forward. Yeah, thank you. Also looking forward. Bye bye.